Welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to learn why the area of a circle area of a circle equals pi r square pi r square now what is the area of a circle suppose this is any given circle this is any given circle the area of the circle is of course the region enclosed by the boundary of the circle is the region enclosed by the boundary of the circle now this is the area of the circle this is the area this dark green region is the area of the circle now that we know what the area of the circle is let us go back to the formula of the area of circle pi r square what is r what is r in this pi r square r is the radius of the circle r is the radius of the circle radius is the line segment joining the center of the circle and any point on the boundary of the circle any point on the boundary of the circle so this this is a radius of the circle this is the radius a radius of the circle you can get different radii by joining different points on the boundary of the circle but the length of the circle the length of the radius of the circle is always the same because a circle by definition is the locus of points equidistant from a fixed point in a plane now that we know what is the radius of the circle let us go back to pi r square and look at the second part in the formula pi what is pi what is pi pi is a universal constant universal constant universal constant constant and very important number in geometry what is so universal about pi let us look into it let us look into pi what is pi now if you take any circle you take any circle any circle uh, this circle I take this circle in a circle a line segment with its end points on the boundary of the circle and also passing through the center of the circle and also passing through center of the circle is called diameter it's called diameter of the circle D is the diameter of the circle okay let us represent diameter by D D is the diameter diameter of the circle and the boundary of the circle is also known this purple color colored line uh, the boundary of the circle is also called the circumference of the circle circumference of the circle let, let us represent it by C C is the circumference circumference of the circle now that we know what the circumference and diameter of the circle is let us look into pi what is pi now in any given circle the ratio the ratio of the circumference the circumference I'll use the same color circumference circumference to its diameter to its diameter that is C by D that is C by D is always constant and equal to pi no matter what circle you take in the whole of the universe any circle of any size the ratio of circumference to the diameter turns out to be pi that's what is the definition of pi pi is the ratio of circumference of a circle to its diameter this is very important point to remember okay now that we know what pi is let us consider one more thing now you can easily observe that the diameter of the circle is actually equal to twice the radius of the circle because
the radius is the distance between center and any point on the circumference so this is one radius and this is the second radius so d equals r plus r d equals r plus r which equals 2r which equals 2r okay now because c, c by d is equal to pi we can write it we can take d to the right hand side and it becomes c equals pi d now if I substitute d with 2r it becomes pi into 2r and which is equal to 2 pi r so we got a new result circumference of the circle equals 2 pi times radius of the circle 2 pi times radius of the circle okay let us keep all these points in our mind and go back to the original question how is that the area of a circle equals pi r square how is area of circle pi r square how is this pi r square this thing this dark green region the measure of this dark green region pi r square now what is area what is area in the first place what is area 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 is measured in unit squares unit squares unit squares squares what is a unit square a unit square is a square with its side measuring unit length this is unit length and this is unit length and this area is unit square now consider a rectangle consider a rectangle okay let us consider a rectangle now if a rectangle has its length equal to one two three four and its breadth equals one two the area is easy to measure because it's just number of unit squares contained in the rectangle so it becomes one two three four five six seven eight there are eight unit squares and it's easy to find out just we need to multiply the length of the rectangle to its breadth so the area of rectangle area of rectangle equal to area of rectangle equals to its length into its breadth okay let us keep this in mind now it's quite easy to find what the area of a rectangle is but how to find the area of a circle okay let us go into it let us go into it okay suppose this circle is a pizza consider the circle to be a pizza now I'm going to share this pizza with you the upper half is going to me the lower half is going to you this lower half is going to you but before enjoying the pizza let us do a little experiment small experiment okay I'm going to cut my pizza into slices into slices as usual okay you are going to cut your pizza into similar identical slices identical slices okay now I want to arrange my pizzas such that these curved lines these curved lines these line the, these curved sides lie approximately on this line okay lie on this line okay this is the color of my pieces these are my pieces okay I want you to arrange your pieces similarly on this line with, with the curved size on this line uh, pointing upwards okay These are your pieces, okay? Now, 
Now what is the length of this side? What is the length of this side? This length is equal to sum of the length of the squared bases of the pieces, slices. These, these lengths. Now this is nothing but half of the circumference. This is half of the circumference. This is half of the circumference because we both are getting half of the pizza we get half of the circumferences so half of the circumference is c by 2 c by 2 which equals to 2 pi r because c is equal to 2 pi r 2 pi r by 2 which is equal to pi r pi r now this length from this point to this point is pi r similarly similarly your slices which are identical to mine the length from this point to this point becomes pi r pi r now I want your, uh, you to bring your pieces closer to mine and fit into the gaps of my slices like this just like the teeth of your lower and upper jaw are complementary to each other and fit exactly into each other so it becomes something like this this side being pi r and this side being pi r but what is this what is this distance from this point and this point what is this distance this is nothing but this distance this distance this distance which is equal to r because it is the distance from the center to the to a point on the boundary of the circle so this equals to r now this is approximately equal to a rectangle even though not exactly a rectangle this is not 90 degrees because the slices are bigger if the slices become smaller and smaller like this this becomes closer and closer to 90 degrees and this part, this part, even though now it's curved, becomes straighter and straighter, just like uh, the surface of the earth appearing flat to us in spite of being spherical, because we see a small, small part, part of the surface of the earth. If these slices become smaller and smaller, this becomes more and more ideal rectangle, like this more and more ideal rectangle like this now we know what is the length of this uh, rectangle length equals to pi r and breadth breadth equals to r breadth equals to r and we know that area of a rectangle is length into breadth length into breadth which equals to pi r into r equals to pi r square pi r square now the area of this whole rectangle, this full area, is pi r square, which is equal to the sum of areas of each slice we have taken out from the pizza. Each slice we have taken out from the pizza, which is same as the area of this circle. So this area becomes pi r square. We have proved that the area of the circle is pi r square. Congratulations and enjoy your pizza.